Once upon a time in a far, far away land. Stories. Stories are what keep us motivated. They're what keep us excited. They're what give us life. They're what allows us to see from what's happened in the past to move into the, to the future. Stories are what literally build our lives. But unfortunately right now what we're finding is we have so much information out there. All you need to do is do a very simple Google search on your mobile device and you are going to find literally millions and millions and hundreds of millions of search results for anything that you find. So right now we're going through a very interesting period of time in which we have more information than we know what to do with. Unfortunately, we don't have the stories that go along with it. And that's where we see ourselves going into the future. That's what the next, say, 10 years is going to all be about. It's going to be about stories. And the reason for that is, if we look back in time, if we go back 30, 40, 50 years ago, people did not have access to the information that they do today. So what did they do? They went into stores, they went into to see sales representatives, they had all these different types of, of marketing devices because they needed information. They did not have a way of finding out information other than meeting and sitting down with people and actually finding out what makes them tick, what, what makes their company better than another company, or what makes a product work for them and is actually something that they would want to invest in. Now if you hear about something, if someone mentions something online, if someone actually talks to you about something or mentions a product, what do you do? You, you pick up your mobile device, either your phone or your tablet, and you Google it and you figure out exactly what they're talking about. And then you can do comparisons, you can do research, you can do all kinds of things literally in a matter of minutes. But the problem is, is do this and you are going to end up with hundreds of millions of search results. Who do you trust? Which way do you turn? Where do you go? That's where stories come into play. And that's where we see the next stage of marketing going to. It, it doesn't mean that you have to come through as, as telling stories and you know really div div divulging into case studies that your company has, has provided for you. What it means is, is you have to develop stories on your own. So if you have a great idea, if you have a big idea that you've always wanted to take to a, an audience and you want to sell and you want to promote and you want to build a business around, what got you started in there? What made you want to create this business in the first place? Ask yourself those questions. Why am I here? What do I want to do with this particular product or with this particular service? How did I get into this business? What does it mean to me? Because that's what will drive your company, your product, your service into the future. It's all about those stories. Now I write stories all the time online. I do blog posts for a variety of different companies. And one of the things that I really enjoy doing is writing the occasional About Us. Because your About Us page is actually your second most popular page online. And yet people are very afraid of that because they don't know how to talk about themselves. I had one client that said literally, you know, I only want a couple sentences because I don't want to come across like I'm bragging or anything else. And that's not the case. People want to get to know you. They want to figure out who you are and what you're about. What made you get to where you are today? Isn't that what motivates you when you go online? When you are actually searching for a product or service, or even if you just run across something that you didn't even know you wanted or needed, what motivates you to want to take the next step? It's always about learning more about that person because that's what makes us relate to people. When we hear stories, when you find out, you know, I am in this business because I had this problem and, and I figured it out. Um, look at some of the people that you follow today. Uh, maybe you're, you're following someone who had stage four cancer and you've heard all about their story on how literally the doctors wouldn't even work with them anymore. So they went and they had to figure it out themselves. And they discovered, you know, a new regimen of exercise and, and nutrition and now they're putting together cookbooks and different things like that. And so you really relate to their story. You want to stay healthy too. And so you grab that cookbook and you use it because of their motivation, of their story that they're, they're telling you. It's not that they're attempting to you know, get rich quick with, with this information. This is what truly matters to them. This is something that, that powers their future, that they're very passionate about and that they want to give and they want to express to you. And that's all okay to do, whether you write it, whether you do it in video, something like this. What we need to know is we need to know your stories because stories are what allow us to be human. Stories are what build those relationships. And the more that you're willing to tell your story, whatever that story may be, it can be very simple. It doesn't have to be some elaborate thing. People always, you know, they resonate with people that go through these life-changing stories. You know, I had stage four cancer type of thing. But it doesn't have to be that way. 
Something motivated you to be where you are today. What is that motivation? What have you learned? What have you experienced? What did you go through education for? What motivated you to be where you are today? That's your story. And when you can grasp that story and you can move forward with it, that's what is going to give you your energy. That's what's going to give you your, your passion for your business. Your big idea will thrive when you share that idea, when you share that story with the world now and well into the future. I guarantee that's what's going to happen and to, to help build your business overall. Use that story. The story is what makes you, you.